Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. See, I told ya I was gonna keep playing. We still have to finish the epilogue anyway. But we still have a couple things we gotta get done in this game. I'm not all the way done. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice, a true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. What? Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has accelerated concerns. An arc has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. Mm. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Hager keeps the position and the timeline in the Nexus family. How what? How what? Um. Uh, who, Hazier is the, is he the Pathfinder? I don't know who Hazier is. Uh, I think it, wait, so, okay, I'm kind of confused. Is, is this somebody that's, like, gonna represent concerns to people outside the, is it supposed to be somebody that's representing the entire cluster? Or, or just the Milky Way inhabitants? Like... I'm confused. I think the Moshi would be an ideal person to be a diplomat, if she wants. Bradley would be good, or the Krogan. Um, I'm I'm just not. I maybe I'm. I was kind of just the way it was phrased was kind of confusing, or maybe it's just me. Like, so we can't have a council yet of, like, members of each colony, I guess. Not just species, but colony. Um, and there's something in my sock that's bothering me. Let's do the Moshe, maybe. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their I right. mean, they were here first. Plus, the Moshe would help solidify relations. Yeah, yeah. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. What? I don't... What? Oh, so I can ask, um... I can ask questions. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morta? <laughs> you are out of your mind. <laughs> it's definitely unorthodox. No, not Morta. It would be bad. Oh, okay. I see. Interesting. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. Meridian doesn't mean done. Ked are still out there. Oh, great. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Moshe. Or, if we're yeah. going to treat Helios like a home, we need to acknowledge who's home. Exactly. I won't name anyone. I support asking the Moshe to act as interim ambassador. Meridian's to who? We're surrendering how much influence? That's the point, you colonial ward. <laughs> Scott is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. 
There's more to life than this. Poor Addison just needs a break. All right. So, journey so far, finding a home. Nexus Council. You chose Moshe Sefa to serve as interim ambassador for the Nexus. This pleased some, but was not the consolidation of influence that Director Tan was looking for. We don't need a consolidation of influence. Uh, okay. Talk to my squad and crew. Are they... Uh, did, it, did it say? It's been some time. Alright, gotta remember that. Let's see, Sam. Integration of Hyperion systems is ongoing. Our Sam node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. Oh, okay. It's not like showing me where my squad is. Oh, hey. What? She's named herself like a quarian. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. What? Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second wave placements officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, reconstruction. What? What? Darlavas Hyperion, placements officer. As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. Ugh. Vast Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. I'm sorry. I wish I could have seen that explanation on why she took Vast Hyperion, but my computer is really dumb and just decided to pretend that something in the background was more important than what was going on in the foreground. So cool. Thanks, computer. I have no idea. She said her godparents. So she was like, uh, Quarians were like her godparents, maybe? That's cool! Iora Pile, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Okay. If you guys blinked, it would be really cool. Hunter Carey, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security. <laughs> which is perfect. <laughs> Come back in a year. This will be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Interesting, okay. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Nah. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. This is cool. I, what they said. I loved all their accents. That's really neat. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll pay it forward, I swear. I don't remember who you are. Memorial. Arc Hyperion, departed Milky Way 2185. Arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy is getting work. <laughs> Please select a topic. Narrator guy. Arc Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, We turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. Again, that's beautiful. 
The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Ket Archon. Pathfinder Rider spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Arc Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing Day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. <laughs> Status pending. That's funny. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Arc Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. There's still sleepers the on there. Structures have been designated as Port Meridian. I mean, that's what they were saying. They're still putting out sleepers, but like during all the shenanigans, like there's still people in cryo in there. The transformation of Arc Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies. Pending I was going to say, we don't know how to do that. Is currently powered by repurposed tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. They really laid the groundwork for future for future stuff. Oh, hey. Good work. You look like Suvi. I'm looking forward to the future. Our future. This is why I'm in the initiative. Well, those of you who got to sleep through all this, that's pretty I'm nice. For my wife what? My then I really start. Good luck, good luck. Hey, Reyes, how's it going? Want to slip away? Found a great... <laughs> what? Sturdy crates. Secluded. No interruptions. <laughs> what? A storage room. You spoil me. <laughs> It'll be like our first date, but better. Yeah. Guess you'll be heading out soon. Still a lot. What to is do. he doing here? Meridian's just one step toward making Helios our home. Yeah, but a damn big one. You deserve to celebrate. And I deserve another drink. Cheers, Pathfinder. Okay, we didn't even get a cutscene. That's cool. It's fine. I don't mind. Pathfinder. I'm told I'm about to get exceptionally busy. She's so pretty. Which, given your health, is unwise. We all gave of ourselves, Ephra. It was time. And as this ambassador, I will continue to do so. I couldn't impose a voice on the Angara, temporary or not. We've always had a voice. This just means your leaders have decided to listen. Also, don't assume my name brings universal approval. You know how varied our opinions can be. Mm. I can't speak for everyone, but I will gladly help create the system that does. And Sala Venjuri, Pathfinder. There is much yet to learn. Hey, Ephra. I don't know if I should have come. You guys are terrible. Were they here the whole time? Like, they're like, oh, hey, by the way. You're, you're, you're... Liam! There's a crewmate. Pathfinder. Catch C for you. In your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridium got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? Not as well as he acts, but he's getting there. Thankfully. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Thank you, thank you. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? I'm glad. Finally. I'm glad. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? I slip out whenever there's a gap in the paperwork. Just to look at it. I feel you. Just... Ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Can I explore Meridian? Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. We still got lots to do. Petra! Wait, who's this? So glad you're up and around. I have important news for I you. love her hair color. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. <gasps> What should I be hearing? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating. 
Business putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. That's fantastic news. We need to report this right away. It's good news, but it bounced too many times to trace, and that's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from. There's an illness, they I think. Are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. So they got here, I think. They're just... I think they're in the cluster, else you wouldn't have been able to hear them. I think. But from what I read of the blurb of the book that's coming out about the Quarians, um, they, there was an illness that, of course, affects the Drell, my, my husband's um, species. And freaking... They always gotta take the Drell away from me. And it makes me... Hi, Ryder. Hi. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? <laughs> Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. <laughs> so, are we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up. Leaving home. Doesn't mean... <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Oh, wow. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. <laughs> you know this is your fault, right? Helping us along. They look so good. Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. I want a romance vetra so bad. <laughs> Heading out soon? Yeah. Wait, what's this? Did I already look at this before? Uh, I'm starting to think even the Jardam were concerned by Meridian. Really? The Jardam language study. <gasps> That'd be so cool. Even these Jardam... Old man. <laughs> <laughs> this place is something else. We can finally start doing what we were supposed to do when we first got here. Explore. Speaking of that, I sent out the Nakmore scouts. Oh, yeah. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. <laughs> I told him to be extra wordy just for him. <laughs> You'll love that. <laughs> he wanted the job, he can have the reports. That's, yeah, it's his it's thing. It's not over, you know. There'll be more cat and whatever else is waiting out It'll there. It'll be an adventure! I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Crazy kid. Fighting for all the right reasons. You're right, it'll be fun. Wee! I'm so excited. I don't know, now I'm getting all hopeful for another game, but it ain't gonna happen for a long time. Hiya. And they say you're the one to thank. Hi, there's a dance going on? I am not dancing. Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? Her eyes the are so pretty. with the Angara to set up a joint research body. Wee! That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them. Them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? Ugh, I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperating with the Angara. You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. Whiskey. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. Yeah, we still have to have movie night. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Heading grab. Oh, good, you're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but you know, been there, done that. <laughs> what? Have you explored all of Meridian already? Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. I don't want to miss a thing. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Good. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Please do. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate. <laughs> Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. Uh -huh. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Got some jams going. Still standing? Yeah, hey, you know. Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me up for getting hurt. Aha. So will I, Ryder. So will I. That sounded actually really threatening. Hello, Ryder. Hi. You guys have anything to say? I knew I recognized you. I didn't organize anything. That was worth jumping galaxies. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be Whoa! a girl. Congratulations. Hey, congrats. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl. Deanne if it's a boy. Mary. Oh, Deanne, God, please no. Mary Deanne. Pretty cool, right? No. Jill might have something to say about that. <laughs> oh, right. Note to self. Bounce names off Jill. <laughs> so this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? Dream becoming a reality? It's a lot to take in. I'm still in the pinching myself phase. Well, I'm sure everyone here would be happy to line up and give you a pinch. Thanks, but mate. So you know, I've got the tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. You blow popsicle Tell stands, boy. Somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. That's <laughs> blind, then. You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? <laughs> you can't. You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. <laughs> uh... Honored to see you, Pathfinder. You too, hey. Glad to have you. Yes, yes. A fantastic turn of fortune for the Hyperion. Perhaps one day the Parchero can expect the same. Wait, what? In not quite so dramatic a fashion, hopefully. Your voice is really interesting. Pathfinder. And, uh, um, did I, it says, lo that looks locked, so obviously I missed people somewhere along the way. I swear there wasn't. Pathfinder. Hey. Like, where's Jaw? Out there, huh? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. They weren't, they weren't in here, right? Oh, there's Callow. Ryder. Enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. Oh wow, that's big. But I wouldn't miss the big day. That's big for him. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Finding Meridian crystallized a lot of things about being a Pathfinder. I expect many around here are thinking about their own potential. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It Aww. means a lot that you want to stick with us, I'm Callum. getting, like, goosebumps. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. Also that. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Nah! Don't, please don't tell him that. And Gil. Things will change now, but that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. I am gonna cry, like holy crap. Uh... You're lucky the Pathfinder fixed your shit. Fix my shit? Fixed your shit. Who even are you? <laughs> what? There's Jaw. How did I freak? Was he like walking around? So, this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. 
I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become, <laughs> I can't even imagine. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. Where are you? <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people his, and mine. There must be a breeze going on because his clothing, his clothing is moving. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? <laughs> At a time like this, I, I, I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. <laughs> I can't so. <clears throat> Jaw, our people. Actually, no, I can't. <laughs> Actually, I kind of. Like <laughs> Jaw, our people. There's what were you guys? I swear you guys weren't here before. Hey, Ryder. How's God? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. <laughs> the Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Got to start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. Of course you did. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. See? And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. I think Korra's With so much face. power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, when she talks, her eyes kind of move around and she blinks and everything. Some people don't do that and it's a little creepy. Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. I try. Woo, return to the Tempest to continue exploring. Woo! How's things? Can I, can I? Uh, yes. Can I see Meridian? I probably can't. Probably like saving it for the next game that's never gonna happen. Let's do it, friends! Let's go! <clears throat> Leaving so soon? It's no fun having the boss at the party. That depends entirely on the type of leader. That was an interesting way to put it. I'm new to this role myself. The training didn't cover how to honor your peers. There's no protocol. Your father invented wow. this role. She just disappeared in the background. The Asari did. She just went invisible, like be beeped out of existence. Look how cute everybody is. Hmm. I, this is I, this is something that I like to say. We've done what was needed, and this will always be here for us. But there's a galaxy out there, and you're all pioneers. That's why you're here. Oh, I'm so We're pumped up. Done. I'm so pumped up. Now I'm just free to explore. Like, I don't, I don't have to worry about anything. Sorry, my graphics card sucks. Everybody's like, 2D. The people in the shadows are terrifying. We can't look at Meridian. <laughs> nice. 
Do we have... We don't have anything new in there? So now all it is is it's, uh... It's just... Yeah, they can't click on it. It's grayed out. All right! Well, geez, that was really well-timed, actually. About 30 minutes of an epilogue-type thing. Uh, don't worry. I do plan on doing all of these, uh, at least. And we need to go to Aya, I think, and pick up parts for movie night. Uh, I need to for sure do the Ryder Family Secrets. I think the, a couple of these are things that I don't mind um, doing on live stream, though. So I wanted to make sure I got the epilogue done and the main game done. And now I literally feel like a weight's off my chest. Like, all the weird cat stuff, the overarching story that felt like it was very, very pressured to, like, you know, very, very... Like, you had to get it done, like, right now because, you know, this was... All this stuff was going on and it was a big bad deal and... I don't know. Like, it just felt like I was under a lot of pressure to get the main game done and then run around and explore. And, like, I didn't think about it till too late. But it makes more sense to do that. Finish the main game and then go back and do everything else. Like, like all the little things, you know? So, I mean, doing, like, the uh, loyalty missions and stuff makes sense. But, like, yeah. So this is cool. Thank you guys again for joining me on this. This well, was honestly a really cool... It's Overall, it's a good game, I'd say. And I know it didn't do well critically, but who cares about those stuffy critics? <laughs> this game had a lot of potential, and it, in a lot of ways, was very different from what I expected, but it's... I'm looking forward to being able to play now with with not the big main story hanging over my head. We're just going to explore. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. So we still got more to come, but thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.